I just need a couple of points of clarity. Um, Chief Sullivan. Um, it's going to be awkward not without the Jamie's chief. Jamie's fine by me. I yeah. know. It's just. <laughs> We're used to seeing you with your police uniform. <laughs> you look a little different. <laughs> Is the entire salary for um, this position of assistant manager coming out of this part of the budget? Or is there anything that was, since we, I guess what I'm getting at is, since HR was part of legal. the legal the department. The base salary will come out of that line item. To my understanding, the only other costs associated with it are the, the FICA and the things that come out of the general wage accounts. There's no right. benefits associated with it, so those were savings. Right. This is a part-time position. Right. right. And it's all coming out of this account, nothing out of the legal account. That's correct. So we should see somewhat of an offset there. There is. If yes. we're just yeah. dealing with with the dollars, which is all yes. I want to do right now, some of the other issues belong in another camp. But right now, for the dollars, you're looking at an increase here. You may want to see the whole picture before we make moves on anything. And well, Madam, to that point, as a net total, and Mr. Wall can speak to this if you want. The board went over those numbers in a recent meeting and showed mm -hmm. that. With the removal of all of the benefits package, the change in hours for um, uh, Christina and my salary, there's a net savings to the town total for that new position. That's what the selectmen have announced. Mm -hmm. So right. that's what the, the numbers work out. So when you remove, you know, the uh, health insurance issues and some of the other, there's, there's accounts yeah. that are washed, there's no retirement contribution, that type of stuff. So yeah. um, there's a net savings to the town with this position that the town is going to realize. Mm -hmm. Small, but net. And, and let me ask you this, and this is where I need, like, the big picture. And excuse me, guys, for the needing that. We debated long and hard about whether we needed one or two attorneys, as some of you know who sat on this board for a while. Um, and when we got to the end, we needed two attorneys. Now we have one attorney. We have a new position. I don't know how long Fred will be with us. I'm assuming that any buddy who's in second position someday will be at the helm. And I guess my question is, is this a permanent position? Is this here to stay for, if you left tomorrow, would we have a rehire in this position? And then at some point, if we had a manager who left and moved on and, and whoever was in this position became the town manager, would we then refill this position? Yeah, I think you're, you're talking, and hype, talking to hypotheticals that I can't really answer at this point. What I can say is the intention from you know, my perspective, obviously some of this you can speak to Jim as the board's perspective, but um, this position was taken with the loss of Wanda. Uh, there was a need that was ne that would met, needed to be met. Um, I happen to have a skill set that helps with that mm -hmm. tremendously, um, and the board uh, felt that that was a, a, a good thing to do. Um, it was my understanding they weren't looking to refill that as a as a uh, second attorney at that point in time, and this position was created. Um, now, as far as the future is concerned, Mr. Welch just signed a three-year contract, so he's going to be here for at least that period of time. Mm -hmm. Uh, my contract is similarly for a three-year period, so I don't think we're looking to do anything different for a period of time. Okay. I guess I'm just trying to look at the whole picture, and, and unfortunately <laughs> I'm going back and forth between legal and mm -hmm. the manager's um, department, which maybe is unfair because we're not doing legal right now. But I would assume with this move, now we have eliminated entirely for some foreseeable time, not just a one-year event the second attorney position. That is my belief, yes. Okay, I think now, again, that's policy a major wise contention. you need to speak to the, the board about that, but absolutely the intention I believe was not to refill that position to move forward with the structure that we currently have. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just felt it important to clarify that going forward and that, you know, we're not looking at this maneuver in twenty fifteen. Right. And when we get to twenty sixteen we'll all be sitting here going Oh, we've really decided we need the second attorney because then we'll be back to the original argument on how many attorneys we needed. Can't speak to the future, but the plan is from what what has been devised by the board and discussed with the manager that this position is going to fit the needs they see going forward, we see going forward. Okay. Thank you.